So what do you do if a company you hired to do work on your home suddenly shuts down, taking your money with it? We've heard from several families left with no place to go after they say they handed over money to rebuild or repair their homes after devastating fires. So I've called, I've emailed, I've gotten every agency involved I can think of to get them the answers they need and deserve. So there was one good thing. Yes, one good thing out of all this has happened. The entire driveway did get reported. There's not much Brian Zimkus will say that's job. positive about statewide restoration. But he says he made some headway after we started asking the company why the repairs to his Colorado Springs home that burned more than a year and a half earlier still were not complete. In 2020, his home caught fire as he and his family were sleeping. Their intentions day one when they showed up here on June 10th of 2020, was to make me a victim of their operation and their and how crooked that they are. And yet they made you feel? Made me feel 100% at ease. You know, guys out here boarding up the side of my house, you know, asking if we need anything, volunteering to take the cars to have them clean to get the smoke damage out of it. Just these little details that you'd kind of really think that would be good to be happening when you're in a state like that. And it's, it's a facade. It's just a mask that they wore just to get me in, like all their other victims. They did the winterization of the home and they boarded up everything. Brian Wynn claims he was one of statewide's victims too. He says his home caught fire in 2020 as he was taking a nap. He says as soon as his insurance adjuster showed up to the scene, she handed him a list of contractors to help. That's when he says statewide swooped in. Their salesman, his name was Ian. He walks over, he's like, excuse me, but if you hire us, you won't have to do any of that. We handle everything. I thought, wow, this guy must, must have been sent from heaven. Heaven or hell? After they got everything all cleared out and the home sealed, we noticed like for a week or two, no one had shown up, had showed up doing anything. So we call them, oh, well, we're sorry. Um, it's because of the pandemic. People are afraid to work. Wynn says the excuses just kept on coming for 18 months. Then in September of last year, statewide restoration abruptly shut down. Customers told me they were sent this email that said, quote, we regret to inform you that due to competitive market dynamics, statewide restoration and all affiliated entities have ceased operations. We encourage you to seek out a third party vendor to complete all ongoing projects. And they were not the only victims. Daniel Haselius and Becky Navarro say they hired statewide restoration to rebuild their homes in Boulder County after the devastating Marshall fire in December of 2021. Now we got to go back, not to square one, because we have the design of the house, but we need to go find a builder and go through that whole process again. I felt like I went right back into the emotions um, right after my house burnt down. So how can all of these potential victims fight back? Call law enforcement to file a fraud complaint? Not well, it's one. not that easy, Almost says Zimkus and Wynn. Police told me Zimkus' situation was civil, quote, because work was done, noting the district attorney's office will not file charges when some level of work has been done. The sheriff's office said Wynn's case is under investigation and cannot comment. Both canceled interviews with me, the DA's office, twice. Instead, they scheduled a news conference to discuss contractor fraud. I hear from a lot of viewers that when they call CSPD, when they call the sheriff's office, they are told specifically because some work was done, the DAO will not investigate that as a criminal complaint. Why is that? Well, I would have to say one thing is that the investigation actually occurs with the law enforcement agency. And then that case is referred to us for potential prosecution. The reason why if some work is already done but not completed, we have to be able to show evidence that it was um, intent to permanently deprive somebody of their money or their property if we can't have that evidence that they intended to permanently deprive. So if somebody does some of the work but doesn't complete it, that's not necessarily evidence of intent to permanently deprive. That often is a bar to criminal prosecution, which is why it was important to bring in Attorney General Phil Weiser to talk about consumer protection and the avenues that they have available to them that has a slightly lower bar than what the criminal law requires. I think what's difficult is our station has been reaching out to your office since March, at least, about a company called Statewide Restoration, who apparently has opened up 
then shut down, taking money from victims, including the Marshall Fire victims, skipping town. And they're left with no option. Yes, they can file a civil complaint, but that takes so much money. Yes, if they win that case, what's the likelihood of them actually getting their money from that contractor? So that's the frustrating part for them. When they go to your office, you say you'll investigate, but they don't know where that's going. We do have a constraint as we have investigations proceeding, how much we can say. I'll make sure that we are looking at that specific one. There are complaints about them everywhere. Yeah. Like everywhere. Attorney Heather Mark says victims also can sue for both theft and fraud. What if they say, well, we shut down because we're out of money? Well, so you still sue them, right? And if that party doesn't respond to it, you get a default judgment and then you can collect either against that uh, company. You can collect against the people who own the company, the individuals. Um, you can either um, collect against their home. You can get like a judgment against the individuals and take anything that they have. And what about a class action lawsuit? I think a class action lawsuit is, is a difficult one because first of all, you have to certify the class. So you have to get a certain number of people together, go to the court and the court has to approve it as being a class that's, um, you know, able to proceed together. And unfortunately, with those kind of cases, the only people that usually end up winning are the attorneys. In the meantime, both homeowners hired other contractors to finish their projects, leaving them out money and patience for work they say simply was not complete. You owe a lot of people apologies for the crooked operation that you run. The main thing I want really, though, is to make sure that they can't do any to anyone else what they did to us. So who owns statewide restoration? Private equity firm RF Investment Partners once included statewide in its portfolio on its website, but that has been removed. Calls and emails I sent to the firm have not been returned. For now, I urge every alleged victim of statewide restoration to file a complaint directly with their attorney general's office. We have a link to do that on our website, koaa.com. Also, we'll be sure to follow up with the attorney general's office to find out if any civil action could be pending in that case. Andy.